Hey all, XArt student here. Today I am doing some wood burning. I'm not a master at all of the tips of the wood burning tool, but I know which ones make sense for which techniques I need. So I definitely like using this straight edge to get those clean straight lines. So here I'm trying to create this witchy moth butterfly woman who's definitely casting a spell and I base the pose off of a photo my mom actually sent of her posing in front of some wings in Puerto Rico and I thought it would be really cool to create this character that's casting something with beautiful whimsical butterfly wings. Something I really love when it comes to wood burning is the beautiful smell and the smoke that comes off of actually burning the wood. It is so nice and such a pleasure compared to other art mediums, but I am still so, so new to this medium and I'm trying to get the hang of it and I think I'm improving each time, but I think the piece of wood that I found in my basement definitely wasn't the right choice for my canvas. I sanded it down and thought it'd be good because it's a piece of wood and I've worked on wood before, but the wood grains were actually very different. You can see the light and the dark wood grain and it burned differently. So I unintentionally had weird shading due to the wood grain. So in the future, I'm definitely going to choose a piece of wood that's more consistent with the grain. In this area, you can definitely tell that I struggled with the shading. Because of the wood grain, it created that stripe look that you're seeing. As you can see, I'm definitely darkening up the sides of the legs and trying to make the inner lighter, but the wood burning tool kept getting caught on each of the bumpy ridges of the wood, and because of the different grain, it would burn differently. That definitely affected how I would go about this piece, trying to figure out how to fix it. Even though the shading was a struggle, it was really fun to create this body shape and try to replicate the shadows and the curves that were needed to show this 3D figure. I imagine this woman in the woods casting spells and being such a powerful being that no one wanted to mess with her and she knows all these ancient ways and could really put a curse on you. Here I'm going in with sandpaper to get rid of those dark spots where the wood burning tool and the wood grain did not work well together. I think this really helped create the shapes that were needed to make that 3D figure. I 
I was worried about adding hair to this piece because this demon woman has a all black body. Her hair is also black and I wasn't too sure how to differentiate between the two, but I think because I lightened the skin with the sandpaper and the lines are different where the wood burning is, you can really tell the difference where the wispy magical hair is going. The hair is definitely not perfect and I'm glad for sandpaper because that was my erasing tool to fix a lot of this. But I really think it added to the piece and made it look like this magical spell that she's casting is the real deal. The wings were really fun to make, and I don't think I've ever drawn a butterfly, so it was really cool to make my own wings and curve them at the edges to make it really look like the correct type of wing. I really like how I chose to have three wings on each side. I think it makes the woman look a bit creepier and mystical and like you really don't want to mess with her. I think the layering of the wings is really beautiful. The background took a while. The wood burning tool actually gets really, really hot. It's definitely not high tech or anything. So I use some of my tattoo black tape wrap to wrap around the tool so I wouldn't keep getting blisters from doing all of the background. I had to take many breaks while doing this. The monotony and the pain, you just need a break. Now that I've finally finished, let's look at those close-up shots. I'm pretty proud of this piece. I feel like I'm getting better at wood burning. It's not perfect, but it is what it is. 
If you like this stuff, consider checking out my other things or my shop. Like, subscribe, please leave a comment, and thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Thanks, bye!